The Kansas Jayhawks were undefeated and ranked number one in both polls and were heavy favorites going into Sunday's game at Tennessee. The result was a surprising eight-point loss that dropped KU to third in the rankings. So what happened, and where do they go from here? Jayhawks coach Bill Self is here to answer those questions. And uh, Bill, thanks for coming on this uh, season premiere of, of Courtside. And you know, sometimes coaches will watch the video of a game and feel better about it, and sometimes they'll watch a video afterwards and feel worse. Which one was it for you? It was bad yesterday, and it's worse today. But, but uh, you know, we didn't play uh, with, with the, the energy or, or, or uh, enthusiasm that Tennessee did. Tennessee controlled the game. Even though we were up eight early, I still think they controlled the game basically from open tip to the end. And, and, you know, we made some plays and tied it late, but didn't finish the game. And we got what we deserved, Seth. Uh, uh, we were a team that was uh, uh, maybe we've been drinking our own Kool-Aid a little bit and, and uh, certainly got what we deserved. And, and now, if anything, some weaknesses have been exposed, and now we can certainly get back to being who we want to be. And that's a tough, hard-nosed basketball team. Yeah, you know, you talk about energy, and, you know, it was interesting. Some folks, myself included, actually picked you guys to lose when you went and played at Temple, and your players seemed to rally around that. I'm just wondering if you think that maybe because of everything that was happening at Tennessee that your guys maybe overlooked the volunteers and thought it was going to be easy. You know, I, I hope that's not the case. Uh, uh, and, and if we say that that's the case, then that takes away from those kids at Tennessee that just totally outplayed us. So, so uh, I, don't, I don't like doing that. The, one of the big reasons why we played so poorly is because they made us look bad. But still, I, I didn't feel our team had the, the energy, the zest for playing yesterday that we normally would have and that we played with, for the most part, relatively consistently this year. But if we're going to get a knot put on our head, I'd rather it happen in non-conference than in conference, and hopefully we'll have our guys' attention going forward. One thing that I think surprised a lot of people, Cole Aldridge only took five shots in the game, finished with uh, uh, seven points, even though Tennessee was having some foul trouble underneath. Is that Cole not being aggressive enough with the ball, or is it your guards not doing enough to get on the ball where he needs to score? Uh, both. I, I, think, I think we were bad post feeders yesterday, but also I don't think that, that, that he did or other big guys did what they need to do to, to uh, become a low post presence. You know, Cole has to become more of an aggressive score for us. And, since we kind of added some new pieces and had a little bit more balance, I, I do think that he's tried to blend in too much as opposed to being a take charge guy. You talk about your guards. Uh, your freshman, Xavier Henry's had a terrific year, but kind of a quiet game uh, on Sunday. Where, where is he right now, and how, how far is he from where you want him to be? Well, I think he's a good player. I mean, he's, there's no question he's a legitimate high major player right out of the chute. You know, some games he's, he, he appears to be a little bit more comfortable based on how people defend us. Uh, you know, he's got to get where he can go manufacture points or get to the free throw line when really things aren't going well. All that said, Bill, I think you know this team still has a legitimate chance to win the national championship. And I know they're not as good now as your championship uh, team was two years ago, but how would you compare where this team is now to where that team was at this point in the season? You know, that team... You know, lost three out of five in conference play. Of course, that was the only three games we lost that year. We, we lost three out of five in conference play. But the one thing about that team that's a little bit different, and it may be just because of age, you know, just because of youth on that, this team and, and experience on the other team, that team loved to compete. That team liked it the most when it was the, when it, when it was the toughest. This team's not quite there yet. This team is more like that team was the year before, uh, at least at this juncture. And we've got to get a little tougher and harder. And, and Seth, I said this, I don't think you can really become tough and hard until you've gone through some stuff. And this team hasn't gone through anything. We need to go through some stuff to really harden us. And, and I hope that this will help us over time. Uh, we won't know if it was a, a loss worth having until probably three or four weeks from now. But, but I've, I've got a suspicion that it will be because I, I do think these kids care an awful lot. Well, the win national championship, Bill, of course, you got to make shots. And I don't know if you've seen this latest... YouTube sensation if you spend a lot of time surfing the web, but this is an actual Kansas practice video. Cole Aldrich threw in an underhanded shot from half court and then three other, uh, I don't know if they were players or managers or who they were, chucked in Manager. four consecutive shots from half court. Bill, if you just called these shots in the game against Tennessee, maybe you guys would win that game. Obviously, we were playing the wrong guys. We should, have, we should have had our managers in there the entire time. And I bet Bruce and his defense would have allowed us to take those shots. Uh, uh, but but uh, it is a pretty remarkable deal. You see these, these uh, uh, shots that kids make uh, all the time, and, and they're becoming more and more popular. And, of course, people's people are taping everything. And, but really, to have four in a row from non 
players. Cole makes an underhanded one, and then we we got a, a three other managers that, that throw them in. Is 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 a, was pretty cool. I'm glad we got it on tape, and, and I'm sure it's got several hits. All right. Well, good to see you smiling this morning anyway. But Bill, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, best of luck down the road with the Jayhawks. Really appreciate you coming on the show. Hey, the sun does come up the next day. It, it always does, and, and uh, hopefully we'll learn from this. And I do like our team an awful lot, but, but we got some things that we got to do better and hopefully get started in Lincoln on Wednesday. Thanks for having me on, Seth. All right. Thanks, Bill. We'll be watching. And when we return, Gary Parrish, Mike DeCourcy, and Luke Wynn will be here for our courtside roundtable. There's a new number one team in America.